Hey Phil, how's it going? Hey good Dave, how are you today? Very good, thanks. You want to tell us a little about this car? Sure, uh, it's an Airflow. Is it? It's a 1935 Chrysler Airflow, but it's a, it's a special Airflow actually, a uh, pretty rare car. It's uh, what they call a uh, custom Imperial Airflow body by LeBaron. LeBaron, now they didn't normally make uh, bodies for Chrysler? Or? Yeah, well just custom, they, they did just custom work. And, okay. Uh, but uh, there was very few of these cars made, and there's uh, very, very few uh, survivors today. And uh, so we're trying to bring this car back to life. Okay, so tell me a little bit about where this car came from. Uh, well, I acquired it in Virginia, um, oh, I don't know, three years ago or so, but uh, it's, uh, it's been a very uh, difficult restoration only because uh, there's uh, none of these cars around to get parts from, uh, very, very little knowledge of the cars because they were such a rare car, but um, it's a large, very large car. Most of them were done in a limousine style. This was, this was called a six passenger sedan, but it looks like a limo when it's through. Now, uh, what's special about this motor? Well, the engine is a, uh, they made them only in the big, the big uh, senior cars in 30, 31, 32, 33, and then in the, in the CW. This is called the Custom Imperial CW. And uh, there's just very few of these around, very few parts around. But, uh, of course, this engine is all, everything's new in it, new pistons, rings, bearings. And it runs pretty sweet. Wow. So how far are you uh, away from completing this car? Well, uh, this r the rolling chassis is about as far done as it can get until we marry the body back onto the frame. And uh, the body is probably uh, four, four weeks away from uh, completion and in paint. And then it'll, then it'll come back onto the frame. And then the real work begins because then we have to start fitting fenders and fitting the doors and... These are awful big brake drums. What is that? Those are 15 inch, 15 by 2 uh, brakes. They're very large, very large brakes. And uh, of course the, it's, the brakes are assisted by a vacuum uh, power brake booster. And that's a uh, vacuum uh, Yeah, that's booster? vacuum operated. Is that, is, that, is that it right here? That's, that's the power brake unit. <clears throat> And the vacuum supply comes through this, uh, what we call a vacuum surge tank. Uh huh. So it, it'll the engine will build up a vacuum supply, and so you can use have multiple brake applications without robbing vacuum from the engine. I mean, it just. Oh. And in case the engine shuts off, you have a check valve, so you'll have about three brake applications even with the engine off. Oh, great! Because of this. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so in other words. Um you'll still have a power brake effect even with the engine if the off? the engine died for, for, for say like three brake applications. Oh, yeah. that's incredible. That They yeah. really thought that... They did, yeah. The, sta the regular airflows didn't have that. As soon as your engine died, you lose your power brakes immediately. Whereas that's right. Whereas this car, the... Now yeah. this is an, un excuse me, this is an unusual rear end uh, situation here. I've never seen anything where it's kind of going up on an angle like that. Yeah, they call that a worm gear. It has a large you can see that this raised part here, there's a large bronze ring gear, and then a worm just drives on the bottom. It's very unusual. Probably the only automobile that was that used a worm gear type rear end. It's, uh, you never saw that before you got to this I've car? I've never seen it before, no. Not, not in a car, in, in trucks. The 20, late model, late 20s trucks used worm gear. But. And so we've got a... Uh, two-piece yeah, drive it's, train. It's got two two large Timken bearings in here to support the center uh -huh. and then a short front shaft. Yeah. They couldn't, they didn't feel like they could do a one long no. shaft and, and still maintain these cross members in here. Wow. Very heavy frame, very stout. Yeah, and this looks like quite a large gas tank. Yeah, it's 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 a large gas tank. It's uh, it had there's two uh, fuel supply lines, 
and one is for reserve. It's got like a uh, two gallon reserve. So if you if you run out of fuel, uh, you can switch over, and you have a reserve. Is that a manual switch over? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's on the it's on the dashboard. There's a lever you pull out, and it switches a manual switch. And great. And you have uh, you can get to a gas station hopefully. And this has wire wheels. So this was the original. These are the original wire wheels, and they have a full chrome cover disc with the louvers. And then a and then a hubcap. And now is the hubcap like a baby moon hubcap or? Um, well, it's it'll snap into this ring right here. Mm -hmm. Does and it say Chrysler or anything yes, on it? Yes, it says Chrysler, and they are a wee bit smaller than the regular Airflow cap, but it it, it just it just says Chrysler. Wow. The cap, which I have all that, and we don't have it on the car yet. <clears throat> well, is there anything you want to tell uh, the folks in Airflow Land? Uh, about this project? Well, it, it is an airflow, <laughs> and uh, we're working diligently on it, and hardly a day goes by that we're not doing something to it, but it's a very slow process, and uh, probably a year or so we'll have the car complete. That'll be a happy day for me. Will you be driving it to any of the meets? You know, I'm not sure about driving it, uh, but the car will be very drivable. Uh, but I, I, we're definitely going to go to some meets with it. We'll probably trailer it, possibly. Uh, we'll just have to see. We'll see how well it does on the road, and uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, thank you so much, Phil, for your time and uh, yeah. giving us a little peek at your uh, yeah. secret project. Yeah. And yeah. hopefully I'll get this up on YouTube for you, and yeah, uh, we can share that with the rest of the club members. Yeah, my pleasure, Dave. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.